Hello, welcome to Just All Things. My name is Jonathan, and a few weeks ago, probably more closer to a couple of months ago, uh, we did a BC uh, challenge of sorts. Basically, what we're going to do is take a BC Sacrum Boom, which is branded, uh, put it on eBay at a reasonable price. After two weeks, put it on to auction at a reasonable price, and then on week uh, four or three, put it down to 99p to clear through. Now, unfortunately, um, I've had some family stuff to deal with, which means I've been back and forth to Ireland. I'll be going again, in fact, next week. So if you're wondering why videos have been spotty, it's because I've been going back and forth doing family stuff, uh, which has resulted in me not being able to kind of do the challenge, eBay challenge thing um, as initially set out. Now, I did list most of it. I think I got about two thirds of it listed. I have some sweatshirts or uh, hoodies, etc. cetera, left. Um, however, I haven't written on the board, but I just counted it up. We did about 201 quid um, on just the buy it now stuff. Um, the bag costs about 100 quid, including shipping and VAT and all that fun stuff. So we doubled our money and we still have plenty of the stuff left to sort out. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, they had a big clear out because they'd actually built up quite a lot of stock. So they did a 60% off the BC sacks. I ordered a couple of them um, and I've only just got around to unboxing the first one, which is the here. Now I'm not gonna try and do the challenge. I've got a couple of weeks worth of traveling back and forth to Ireland again. Um, I might kind of cover a video actually on uh, time off from the job and how to kind of manage that. Um, the first time I, um, the first week I had to take off was short notice and there was a very, very noticeable dropping sales. Literally the bar went like that. Um, and then when I got back and started listening again, it shot back up. So um, what I've done this week is I've basically been pulling longer days and I'm getting stuff uh, scheduled to drop while I'm away. Um, and hopefully that will have a positive impact and not a negative impact like it did the other week. But I wanna go through what I've got today. There's some nice stuff in here. Um, I don't know if there'll be another 60% thing on. When I checked earlier, they were actually on pre-order for these bags. So it obviously cleared through the backlog they'd had. However, these sacks are good for turnaround. If you are um, limited on time like my friend was, um, and you don't have a great deal of time. He actually ended up buying one and making, I think it was about 320 quid from his sack. Um, so triple the 100 quid he spent. So he got his money back. Um, his fees, post, etc., was covered. Plus he made um, an extra 130, 40 quid um, in money available for him that month. And uh, he got another sack. So it's working for uh, the people that it was intended for at least. But enough yammering on. Uh, let me show you what I got. So we got nice modern pair of 874s. These are the Icon ones, they're a bit more skinnier looking. Um, there doesn't seem to be any damage from when I checked. They're just, it's workwear, it's filthy. That's as you'd expect. Where can I put that? The floor it is. Uh, more Dickies workwear, again, standard workwear stuff. Uh, zips are clearly showing signs of wear wear to the hems, really faded. But again, no real damage. Um, that's 40 quid already. Third pair, same as the last one, same principle really. Showing signs of wear. This is actually a double knee, but there's some stains, but work wear again, 60 quid. Apparently I'm tallying it all up now. Wasn't planning on doing it, but apparently that's what I'm doing. This is a chunky, chunky, and it feels like wool because I can feel the allergies kicking in already. Uh, fleece lined Tommy Hilfiger cardigan. Zip works. Yeah, it's definitely wool. <laughs> Says so inside. When your allergies work for you. Uh, sweater shop. Oh, sweater shop zip up cable knit. There's marks down the sleeves, it's a bit filthy, but it all looks like wash offable stuff. Um, Nike hoodie marks on the front. I'm not sure they'll all wash off, but somebody will buy that for five, six quid. What am I saying for the other two? So I've got 60. We'll just go 80, 100, 105. I was, might as well continue it as we started. Uh, Adidas crew neck, some small pinholes. We'll put that on for five. 110. 
these crop things never sell for me. I don't know why, they just don't. So it's another fiver. Um, was that 115? Levi's 512 tapered. See, these are modern 16A. Dirt, essentially, it's 20 quid. Probably slow sellers, though. Um, oh. Hmm. Ah, the kids. That's probably why. Right. I was thinking there was fake for a minute, but the kids' ones are a bit different. Ah, oh, there's the tags. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, they are kids. Yeah, okay. So, we'll put them down at 10. I've already lost count of what numbers are at. About 130-ish, something like that. 140. We'll go with 140. Um, the kids, being kids, does bring them down. These are actually quite cool. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger cargo chinos. Uh, not Tommy Hilfiger, sorry, Timberland. Fall 2003. Timberland do put the, a date on their tag. They will put what season it is. And then the number, and that's the year. So, uh, they just look like you need to wash. They're actually, I don't know, there's wear to the hems, but nothing uh, major to write home about. Uh, Levi's Quilted Bomber. Um, what was that, 150? We'll put them down at 120, 170. Probably get 20 quid for that, 190. Uh, Foul Raven, um, like Parker, short Parker like raincoat, hooded raincoat type thing. It's dirty, it needs a wash, but that's probably 30. I've lost count of the numbers again. You can keep up at home. You tell me what you think the number is at the end. I've got it about 200 quid, 220-ish so far. Um, feeler, big puffer jacket type thing. Uh, again, it just looks filthy. It just looks, it's got a mark down the front. Just needs a wash. I mean, this is the BC sack, so it's gonna have some stuff on it. And you can tell by the tag. The way it's faded, that is filthy. I reckon one good wash and that will be good to go. Put that down at 30, so like 230-ish. Whatever these are, some Calvin Klein shit. Calvin Klein sleepwear, right, fiver. Um, we'll keep it 230. <laughs> Adidas shorts, waist is completely blown out. Double XL, fiver. Come summer um, or spring, they're heavily worn, but they are proper Dickies workwear ones. You get 20 quid for them, easy. Um, what's that, about 250-ish? Juicy Couture, oh Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, whatever this is, like, I don't know. I know people sell that for a lot of money. We'll call it a tenner, like 260. Now this is actually really nice. It's Adidas and it's kind of like intended to look inside out, but it isn't. You can tell by the logo on the front, it's in the right side. Um, hoodie. Um, I think this is distressed on purpose and it's kind of come in because the fact that it's meant to look distressed, but it's obviously it doesn't, you know, on initial inspection, I guess it wouldn't show up like that. But that's actually a nice piece. Um, I reckon you get 20 quid for that. So, what, 270? Uh, Adidas Disney. It's got goofy playing tennis on the front. Oh, it's goofy Adidas uh, Disney Goofy Sport. What we're looking at, 2010-ish, 2005, a bit earlier, nearly 20 years old. Just filthy, um, another 20 quid, what's that, 290? Uh, sweater shop, it's a really nice jumper, however, it is full of holes. So, a big hole there. Somebody will probably play a tenner for it though and just fix it, easy to dine it up. Um, what was that, 280? I'm terrible at this, I keep saying numbers then for instantly forgetting. Tommy Hill figure, puffer jacket, is it down? That's the question, because being downfilled does make a difference. It is 65% downfilled. In the wash machine with some tennis balls to fill this out. Give it a good wash. This is actually just filthy again. It's just, there's no damage, it's just filth. So, we'll call it like 310 for this, including this bit. Um, a hoodie of some kind, Gap hoodie. Um, just filth around the pits, by the looks of it. I nearly sniffed it then, but then that was a bad idea because it looks like deodorant. Uh, but 
what was that, 310-ish, about three, we'll call it 320. Uh, diesel Safedo jeans in a blacky looking dark blue wash. That kind of fade. There's some damage to the leg. Someone's gonna pay 20 quid for those, easy enough. Um, what's that, 330 something? We'll call it 330. Uh, Mr. Heli Hansen, large raincoat, really thick actually, vented, is it might even be a ski coat, it's that kind of chunky. Yeah, it's got the inner lining to attach up to the trousers, so definitely hiking, raincoat, ski coat type thing. There's no sleeve um, pocket for a pass, so probably just hiking gear. There are nicks though throughout the sleeves, but the last one went for like 20 quid, so I reckon get 20 quid. What's that, 350-ish? Now these are 501s with what looks to be like a tiger stripe down it. They are filthy, but I reckon a wash with some vanish will clean that up. Levi's do actually do a range of like you or for you or B style or something. Um, and there's a fair chance these are actually from that and they do carry a higher value. So I'm gonna put those down at 30 quid. So we're probably about, what, what was that, 380-ish? Uh, Carlsberg Polo, that's a fiver in it. Nice enough, Mike, interesting, but maybe it's worth more. Now this is the stuff that I think is really cool. I get this is Heli Hansen again, but it is quite old and it has like the Finnish flag on the underside. I'm not gonna show you because if I'm wrong, then I'll look a fool but it's a pullover chore coat. Now I like my old workwear and I reckon I would get like 50 odd quid for these because there's two of them. They're both heavily faded. They've both got front pockets um, and I reckon they're worth a few bob. Um, and there's two of them, which is nice. This one's got a bit more filth on it, but what you're looking for with workwear is the heavy fade. You see that fade down the back? That's what people look for. It's like a moleskin kind of material. You can zoom in, focus. You see there where it's been rolled up. But I reckon we can get 40, 50 quid each for those. We'll say 40, what's that? 400 and something. Now bearing in mind, I bought this when there was 60% off um, and I've got two more sacks down there because frankly, when you got 60% off, I think including that, they cost 60 quid, something like that. Um, you can't really like argue with that much stock for 60 quid, even if it is a bit shitty. It's something you can quickly just set and forget, put it on for cheap, just get a quick return. And it, people do buy it. Uh, Nike hoodie, uh, kind of tricolor even though it's not tricolor, it's four. It's the from the pastel range that they had a couple of years ago. As with any lighter piece, there are stains. Uh, but what are we at? Four, we'll call it 420, 430. Uh, Columbia, waistband's blown out. Fiver. Um, Ralph Lauren has had some repairs to the collar. Somebody's going to pay a fiver for an old Ralphie shirt, probably. So we'll call that like 450 ish. Um, Timberland chinos. I just listed a pair of these, 25 quid. So. What's that, 475? And then just a fleece gilet Berghaus. Well, I can't remember what was that. We're looking at like 450, 460 return once everything's sold. And that's if we kind of let it all sit and sell at its own rate. Um, so a decent bag. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm not gonna do the challenge with it. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, there's definitely money to be had. Yes, it's not the best, it's, it's more fun to deal with fun stock, right? It's better to deal with good stock and clean stock than it is to have to put the work in, but it's fairly minimal work. You can take it down to one of those lower drum machines, it'll cost you like 12 quid to probably get, 12 quid a wash, something like that, by the time you finish wash and dry, you're probably looking at like 40 quid in wash, right? But you're gonna get a couple hundred quid return with ease. Um, and if you are doing this kind of part-time, this is an easy return for probably not a great deal of work. Stick it in the washing machine, stick it in the dryer, iron it, photo it, list it, 
get rid of it. Um, nice, cheap, quick return. If you've got just started an eBay account, it's really good for building up your feedback. Um, as long as you make sure you describe it correctly because people will nitpick. So make sure you detail any description if you're using it for building up the eBay account. Although that is exactly what we did in an older video with our second eBay account. We use these sacks to build it up. So it definitely can be done. Um, but overall, that's where we are. So I'll catch you in the next one.